you know, like Jim said here, this very limited underground last mile in NNE. Well, good. That means there's nothing in the way. You know. <laughs> well, except for, you know, we're essentially a granite outcropping in the ocean. Other than that, oh, right? Well, I mean, that, well, that's a problem then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you drive down the interstate in New England, right? And you'll come okay. to this place where suddenly there will be tall ledges on either side of you. And that's because when they got there, they had the blast all the way through that. And that's true everywhere, right? And so oh, you don't oh. know as you're digging up the roads, because most of these roads in New England, you know, they're old cart paths, right? And that, that we just paved, literally. It's really great for base for, for roads. Hey, but- I'll tell you what, there's a new technology, 6G. That's going to solve all those problems for you guys out there. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just wait for it. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just going to say that Travis will find this out on his next road trip when he's trying to find fiber and uh, yeah. handholds. <laughs> hey, I've never been to New England before, so I don't even know. Is that what it's like? Yeah. So, uh, no, out here where we just have dirt, it's farmland, basically, yeah. with people living on it, that that's what I would do. Your, uh, my, my opinion may not be valid everywhere. I know when I was in Hawaii, there's no way. You have to do aerial. Right. But, um, you know, through the Midwest here, I know, I don't know, Kim, if you can do it out there, but um, trenching or boring mm-hmm. is the preferred way, in my opinion, for new, for building a new network. 